They say y'all women love that fake plant stuff. Get the fuck for y'all. Respectfully, don't buy this chicken. Get off of there. This is not for the week. Everything spilled right, looks good. It felt like I was in a hotel on vacation and I absolutely love it. I match the vibes. So yeah, we're out with the old, in with the newest. Outside in the AMG, right outside. Today's video is going to start off another Living Alone Weekly vlog. I was super duper excited for it to be Sunday so I can go ahead and start a new vlog. But girl, editing this video that I had to post today that still ain't even posted yet and it's 7.22 was still like checking and uploading. I got done editing at like 3 and then it's been saving and uploading since 3 o'clock and it's 7.22. Um, so I really do need to prioritize editing throughout the week and or getting the bulk of my editing done like Friday night, Saturday night, because I can't keep having my Sunday just be all of editing, trying to get a video to y'all because it's really annoying. Um, Sunday supposed to be my relaxing chill day and I glued to a computer day. So yeah, it's 7.20. I cooked me some lunch, some sloppy joe and macaroni. Excuse me. Now I'm tired because I've been sitting at the freaking computer desk all day. But um, I was super excited because I wanted to put up my new bedding. I wanted to go to Home Goods. I want like I wanted to go to some stores today. I guess I'll save that for Tuesday because tomorrow is Monday, and I told myself that tomorrow is gonna be a brand day, and I'll probably go ahead and start a new like entrepreneur blog entrepreneur vlog i'm gonna have to look back at my last one i think i haven't recorded one of these since like last year or maybe the year i don't know definitely sometime last year so i need to watch my last one and pick up where i left off but tomorrow i do plan to dedicate strictly to a jb beauty collection and just do brand stuff um i'm gonna treat it like a job kind of like clock in and like and spend I don't really want to spend all day but like once I get into the groove of stuff then time just goes by quickly but I would say I'm going to treat it like a nine to five but I really don't want to be doing that till five o'clock so I'll probably treat it as like a nine to like three I think that's pretty good like I used to work at big lots from like eight to one and that'll be like a really good like shift I guess you could say so my alarm goes off at eight o'clock um so i'm probably just gonna do like nine or three um i used to work that shift as well too sometimes and sometimes i'll be there all day so yeah just depends but i am gonna try to do like uh like an eight hour work shift six to eight hour work shift uh and treat that as like my job because i mean it's my brand so that's what i'm gonna be doing tomorrow um today I'm gonna clean up my kitchen. I cooked and stuff like that. I mean, today is Sunday. I don't really need to do a Sunday reset because I basically just did it all last week. Um, just cleaning up bit by bit each day. So yeah, tonight, I'm probably gonna open up my new duvet cover and see if that fits because if it doesn't fit, I'm gonna have to take that to, uh, not Amazon, take it back to Coast Clothing Store to return it. Um, it's from Amazon, but I return my stuff at Coast. And these, pillowcases i need to return i plan to do all of that today and girl i've just been glued to my computer all day so yeah that's all i just want to introduce the vlog i'm not really about to be doing nothing tonight but cleaning and posting this vlog whenever it decides to upload um so yeah that's pretty much it i want to go home decor shopping and stuff like basically window shopping at home goods because i haven't been in there in a month so i do want to go do that like i said i'll probably save that for tuesday um and yeah just kind of get my apartment together if you guys watch my vlog from last week that i'm posting today but it'll be a week by the time y'all see this um i'm trying to change up my bedding because since it's spring and summertime i don't really want the green anymore it's kind of just giving 
you know, fall and winter time for me. I want my room to be very, not light, but just more refreshing and a little bit brighter. So we're gonna be going window shopping to like Target, Home Goods, the at-home store, places like that to try to really get a feel for what's new out there and what they're giving out for the um, spring and summertime. Um, and I'm really hoping this duvet cover fit. I probably am gonna try to put that on tonight and see how I like it. We'll probably do that right now because I do need to know if it fits or not. And then after that, like I said, I'm just gonna clean up and just chill for tonight. And then I'll pick y'all back up maybe tomorrow. If not tomorrow, it'll be Tuesday. Alexa, turn on light. Okay. I don't know why, but I really hate when Amazon sends stuff like that's not in a box, like just packaged because you know, what if this was to rip or, you know, someone, everybody just be all in your business. I hate when Amazon do that. Ugh. So I got a, I got a size queen, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the link and stuff, y'all know, check Amazon storefront. Everything will be in there. So yeah, I got the queen, one duvet cover and two pillowcases. Um, so yeah, I've never owned a duvet cover. So um, this is going to be my first time trying this and I really don't know what's the most effective way to <laughs> put in your blanket inside of one, but you know what, it's all good. I ordered Queen, but this looks really big. So I just had to lay it out to figure out <laughs> how to actually put this in here. I think it goes like this when I actually get the cover in here. So the zipper is on this side and it got some little ties right here. So I'm just going to slide the blanket in exactly how it is. Obviously disregard the green but i don't think i like it like obviously i can you know <clears throat> steam it or whatever but it just looks cheap i don't know how to explain it like i feel like that's why i never try to do duvet because i know it's just sticking something into something else like all of this is just the sheet and the blanket just rolled down and i don't like that like i like actual comforters and I just don't like it. Obviously, the, the green is kind of throwing me off as well. But just to think if I have white sheets and stuff under this, um, and it's still not even like that long for this to be a king, it's just giving, it's giving cheap. <laughs> so some of the people in the comments, I understand what they're saying. Um, but their bed didn't look too bad in the pictures. But obviously, you know, I could take a picture in this and it'll probably look good. It's like real life though. I don't think I'm gonna like it. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna return this and just get like buy an actual white comforter from the store because a duvet, I don't think it's for me. Like, I just can't get with it. It's just so, it's nothing right here. It's just nothing but sheets. And the whole blanket is rolled under here. And I think that will annoy the hell out of me especially with making this bed so i do like the white i am gonna go back you know white and black it's just i'm not a duvet girly like i see that now this is my old white comforter threshold brand from target that i had got um it was like 30 dollars on sales the king size me too it's like still white but like on the inside it's not as white anymore and i don't really know how to get back as white as it used to be so here's how this one looks it just looks so much better like quality obviously because this comforter is regular like what a <laughs> hundred or something dollars so the quality of this is definitely better it's just it still kind of has like a design on here and i don't really want anything with the design i just want it plain white that's why I ordered that duvet cover. And then this one is not as white, obviously, as it used to be when I got it. But maybe I can wash it and put some OxyClean and some bleach or something on it and see how it comes out. So I'll probably put it in the um, washer tonight and see how I like it. But I may go ahead and just keep this and bring it back out and then just get different pillows and pillowcases and new sheets. Um, 
so yeah we'll see i'm gonna wash it and stuff and see how like extra white and crisp i can get this and then i'll go and look for some sheets because i used to have black sheets but i am trying to mimic that you know my pinterest board so i'm probably gonna have to order or go pick up some white sheets good morning family it is 10 53 monday march 4th and i am getting ready to go to the gym i am dressed in my gym fit i just gotta put my sweet sweatband on i'm cooking up a quick breakfast if you can hear that popping back there <laughs> but i'm about to i was gonna try to um touch up my edges but since i'm going to the gym I'm about to sweat anyway i think that'd be really pointless so i'm gonna wait till i get back home plus i'm checking my little um hair stuff and i don't have any more like styling gel so i'm gonna have to use like edge control um but yeah plus this is just a like headband wig anyway so just gives you a little throw on and go i'm gonna put it in a ponytail in the back I'm um, hoping nobody can see anything. So I'm going to do a low pony in the back and just, you know, work out like this. But I decided to go ahead and y'all know I like to just eat like cereal or something before I go to the gym. But since it's already dang there, might as well just say 11 o'clock in the morning. I like to spend about an hour. I like to spend about an hour in the gym. And by the time I get back, it's going to be lunchtime. So I'm like... When I get back, I don't want to be making breakfast and then that's going to delay my lunch and delay my dinner. You know, it's just going to delay everything. So I would rather just cook a quick little breakfast right now. I'm doing two pieces of bacon and a piece of toast. Uh, when I come back, I am going to drink my smoothie though. I was thinking of drinking my protein smoothie at night because the protein smoothie, I think, is making me feel really full to the point to where I usually get hungry every like three to four hours for like a big meal. Now it's taking a little bit longer than that. So I don't know. I'm scared to kind of drink it right after. So I may wait until tonight to drink that smoothie because at night I do get weird cravings. So not like weird cravings, but at night I will get cravings. And instead of looking for snacks, I can just drink my protein smoothie and that will make me full um, truly for the rest of the night. So I don't know. We'll see. I may come back and go ahead and drink it and then I don't know we'll see but I'm trying to figure out when do I want to take this stuff and return it to Kohl's um I don't want to go before the gym because I kind of just want to go and get the gym out the way so I think I may do it after the gym but then I would have to come home shout Ooh. then I would have to come home shower and then get back out so I did go to Target the other day though um, like right after the gym. I didn't sweat too much, so I just went ahead and went. I kind of think I want to do that. I don't know my thumbs are. I kind of want to go return that after I leave the gym. Um, I usually always take like lotion, perfume, you know, stuff to freshen up. That type of stuff is in my gym bag, deodorant, and all of that. So just for a quick little fresh up just so I'm not, you know, smelling like the gym when I leave. I may go ahead and just run all my errands after the gym because once I'm at home, you know, I'm at that age. When I'm at home, I'm at home. I don't want to get back out. I'm going to go ahead and take all of this down with me so I can just do one trip. And I do need to go to my Amazon hub. I do got a package and I'm waiting on another package to get here tomorrow. And then I got another package. Like, I just got all these packages coming, girl. The past two nights, I've been sleeping in a lot later than I would like. Um, I've been getting up at like 10, 9.30, and I would like to get up at between like 6 to 8. And last week I was doing that, but I had texted Bay. Don't even remember texting him. I think at like 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. And then he had called me, so his FaceTime call woke me up for a little bit longer. But then I just put the phone on the nightstand and just tried to go back to sleep and went, I fell asleep on him. So that's happened the past two nights. Um... I've been up to like one or two or like just woke up and kind of stayed up for a little bit. So when I do that, I tend to sleep in a little bit longer. So that's why I try to be sleep and then wake up early. So yeah, I'm about to finish cooking my little breakfast. And I don't know if I want to take out to the gym or not. It is about to be 11. And I'm not the type of person who like to take my camera to the gym. If I get that smaller camera, the Osmo Pocket 3, then I will take y'all. Sometimes I record on my phone. I probably record some clips on my phone, but I'm not taking my whole camera and tripod, especially because I work out 
in the women's room mostly and the women's room is a bit smaller obviously than the rest of the gym and then the gym that i go to obviously <laughs> the gym that i go to it is smaller like they have better equipment and more equipment than like planet fitness but planet fitness gym space is bigger so it doesn't feel like everyone is like on top of each other if that makes sense so i don't really like the layout of this gym i am trying to find a different gym simply because i just feel like everyone's just in everyone's space like this is a machine that i'm on right here and then right here there's another machine so it is just so close i don't like it so i'm trying to find something else i went ahead and cooked the actual prince is looking for his food i went ahead and cooked like an actual breakfast because last night not even gonna lie to y'all yesterday i did not hit three thousand calories um, I did not eat much at all really yesterday because I was glued to my freaking computer trying to upload this video for y'all. So I ate very little yesterday. So I'm trying to hear if I can get my calories and protein in. So I realized in my last vlog, uh, last weekly vlog, when I was um, vlogging my food, I didn't show y'all what app I was using. It's called My Net Diary. I used to use my Fitness Pal, but my Fitness Pal started requesting a subscription to be able to like to scan a barcode of like a full product and my net diary does not require that so i like this one because it shows a lot so this morning i got i'm only eating one piece of bread so i'm going to put in one slice and then my bacon um i only did two slices this morning so i'm going to save that um my orange juice i'm drinking eight fluid ounces of orange juice trying to be careful so i don't waste it this cup is exactly eight ounces so i always like to pour my drinks when i'm actually trying to measure something in this little bitty glass i got these from big lots like years ago but i believe they still carry these so i like glasses that i know exactly how much i'm drinking so i'm drinking eight fluid ounces we're gonna log that and save it so my breakfast this morning is really small since i'm going to the gym i don't want to like throw up so it's only 295 calories and for protein all i do is click on the little apple if you care about this go to day report and slide over and go to protein so my protein for this morning is 13 grams of protein and it's mostly coming from the bacon and then i'm going to come back and drink a smoothie and then the smoothie will be 25 grams of protein plus the 13 that'll be 38 so it is a smaller breakfast or whatever but like i said i'll come back and eat a big lunch or something um, and I noticed I also was talking about this one girl that I said I will post her on the screen. I did not post her. Um, forgot to do that. But this is her TikTok. And I think her Instagram is about the same name. Her name's Gigi. And you can just go to her page and look at all of her transformation. So, here's one. That's her now after a year. And that was her in the beginning, like three or four months. So, yeah um yeah that's what i was talking about so i be stalking her page all the time <laughs> but honestly i just you know need to get back in the gym i know what to do i know what to do so eat my little breakfast i'm gonna go to the gym and then we're gonna go return that stuff and i'm gonna come back and have a brand day hey y'all update it is 3 28 in the evening i went to the gym did what i had to do went back home showered drunk my protein smoothie and was on the phone with Nikki for at least an hour and a half, almost two hours. So today, I'm not going to actually make my brand day. I'm going to save it for tomorrow because, like I said, it's already 3.30. And I really wanted to start working on my, like, brand and stuff like that at the beginning of the morning. And then, you know, kind of stop around 3 or 4 o'clock. So I'm going to do that for tomorrow. But I am at Kohl's to return these two things from Amazon. Um, I did it to... You know how Amazon, you can like get your money back or you can just leave it in your um, Amazon like credit. That's what I decided to do because there is some more stuff in my Amazon car. I'm just going to go ahead and get to finish off my um, guest room front door. Here's my front door, girl. Oh, the workers. Um, there's some stuff in my car, some more wallpaper and stuff like that to really finish out my guest bedroom. And tomorrow my neon sign, it says it's supposed to be delivered tomorrow, but... I haven't gotten an update yet it still says that it's in china so i'm not sure um maybe it just takes a minute when it gets actually over here in the states to update so yeah i'm tired like i went hard in the gym today and also like i told y'all when i drink that smoothie it just makes me like feel tired and kind of full 
I am still hungry though since I didn't eat a big breakfast. So after I get done ripping and running, um, I am going to probably pick up Chick-fil-A only because uh, I don't feel like cooking again until dinner. Like being an adult, I literally just saw a TikTok. It was like, what's one of the hardest things about being an adult or something like that? And someone uh, stitched it and was like, figuring out what the hell you going to eat every day like breakfast lunch dinner snacks it's so much especially when we living alone like i cook every day uh like it's just a lot even though i meal prep for like two to three days i'm still you know cooking so i just don't feel like cooking until dinner time so i'm about to go ahead take this stuff in and we're gonna shoot over i'm gonna save costco i really want to save costco for last because i am gonna be buying pork chops so that's meat and it's not cold outside no more and i don't want it to you know just kind of sit in the car even though home goods i'm not supposed to be in home goods more than like maybe 20 minutes because i'm specifically going in there for white bed sheets and to look for um prints a new mat if i can't find a puppy mat that's black then i'm just gonna buy a um dining room table placemat they literally are made out of the exact same material and they look the exact same Hey y'all, I'm back at home now. I think I recorded a few little clips <coughs> of the stuff that I've been doing. All right, I went to Chick-fil-A, got me some Chick-Chick. Cause y'all know I wanted it real bad last week and I was closed and I wanted it on a Sunday. Um, I went to Costco, you guys know. I got my pork chops that I've been talking about. I didn't have time to really look through them because somebody else was over there trying to look through them and try to find the cheapest price. So I got three, six, nine big fat thick pork chops for $12.08. I'm gonna cook these tonight. Not all of them, I'll probably cook like two or three at a time to kind of meal prep. And then from Home Goods, y'all know I went in there for two specific things. Um, I was looking at comforters as well. They had a comforter in it that was so soft, but it only was in a twin size. And they had one in a king size in that brand, but it was gray. And we're not doing gray, girl. So I did get Prince a new mat. So it's still shaped like a bone, but it's black and silver. So obviously that's my vibe and my aesthetic. So I got lucky and found this mat in there so we can switch out that other well the gray one and we can give them this one Boo! <laughs> and then the other reason y'all know why i went in there i got me a pack of white sheets they were 29.99 compared to 43 dollars um, whatever brand this is I'm not even familiar with this brand i don't really know much about sheets so this one comes with one flat sheet, one fitted sheet, and two standard pillowcases. It fits mattresses up to 18 inches. So hopefully this works out. They feel really soft and nice. My comforter is in the dryer. The only thing about that white comforter, when I wash it, I have to dry it like four to five times. It is so thick, it's huge, and it takes forever to dry. I've been drying that comforter since last night at like 9, 30, 10 o'clock. And it's probably still not even dry on like high heat. And I'm about to eat my Chick-fil-A and then I'll come back to y'all and we're going to start doing some stuff around the house. I did get another Amazon package delivered a few days ago. I went and picked it up today. What's in this one is some more like pompous grass for me to add to my neon sign when it gets here. They like curved it in here. These are longer than the other ones that I showed last week. If you guys watched last week's vlog. <laughs> Alright. I don't like that they... Oh, okay. I like these. 
you can shape them how you want. Amazon. I got these ones and then I got the, ooh. Huh? <laughs> they say y'all women love that fake plant stuff. <laughs> Pompous grass. This one is fake. These are real. So these are gonna shed. I do need to actually take these out the pack and like put them outside or like in the guest room or something so they can like shed. But y'all can see where I'm going with this. Um, these are a lot longer than expected. So I may or may not, I don't know. We'll see when my neon sign and stuff get here and I put up the wallpaper and all of that. Um, probably won't be in this vlog because I don't plan on doing that and plus I'm still trying to wait to see if this company is going to give me this item and then that's when I'm going to be doing that vlog but yeah you can see the vibes the colors and all of that this came with white and tan pompous grass these are so freaking huge I may go ahead and buy some more of these um to maybe put in a vase maybe in my room somewhere but yeah super cute super excited and after I'm done eating we're going to work on my laundry room area in my bed and you know just all the good home decor stuff hey y'all update it is 803 same day monday night um i didn't do anything that i said i was gonna do because i went downstairs actually to um janae's house if y'all watched the last vlog you know my friend moved in she lives in the same building as me just on the second floor so i've been down there loving on her baby and everything like that feeding her um, I went down there so she can, um, just to see her, uh, both of them and Janae went ahead and, you know, took a shower and stuff like that while I was there feeding the baby and I actually got her to sleep and everything like that. So now I'm back up here and I'm actually, I think I want to go ahead and start on my bed. This new mat that I got a better look. Um, the brand is Vinyl Pet Play. Is Prima pet. I don't know. This is the brand. And it was $5.99 from the at home store. So we're gonna put this out. This already looks so nice. Like I'm so excited the way my apartment is coming together. Um, I cannot wait. I'm actually gonna be able to re-sign my lease this year. Y'all know if y'all been following me for a while, I've moved every year since 2016. So I've literally never re-signed a lease anywhere so i'm super excited to really get this apartment exactly how i want for another year here um and i feel like my apartment will actually be ready for like a full furnished apartment tour i want to shoot for it by my birthday my birthday is in august um, i'm not the type of person who like rush decorating and stuff like i really want this home to be something that i really want to come home to and that i'm proud of and feel good in so I'm just gonna say by August, but my apartment is pretty much put together. There's only like a few more things that I really wanna do and get together. So this is his, get off of it boy. This is his old one. I've had this since my last apartment. It was matching the vibe there. Um, so yeah, we're out with the old and with the new. It's still shaped like a bone though, so that's cute. The way this is made, it's kind of like, I should probably cut that if y'all can see that right there. But I'm gonna put that towards the wall. And he got him a new mat. We're gonna put his little bowl and stuff right here. And it looks really nice. You like it? It's cute, huh? Match the vibes? Yay or nay? All right, anyways, I think it looks really nice. Let me turn on this big light. I think it ties in really, really well. Super duper cute. So now, when you look over here, it won't be this ugly gray and white. It'll be this cute black and silver. And it just ties into everything else that's in here. Like, come on now. Y'all can't tell me that's not cute. I'm going to go ahead and throw these in the washer, even though they were like packaged really good because they they smell like like manufactured, if that makes sense. Like they don't stink. 
it's just you know they don't smell like my laundry detergent so i'm gonna go ahead and throw all of this in the washing machine and dry this i'm gonna do a quick cycle um the quick cycle is like 30 minutes or so Ooh, that but also not the best if y'all watched a few blogs ago i got those two little pump thingies from target for five dollars so we're just gonna put all of this back looking nice and take all the stuff out of these containers and put it in my little thingies over here this side is still looking good and organized um these are like my reusable bags and the stuff that i put in the dryer with this is cleaning stuff you know we got the extra stuff over here so this side is still organized it's still looking good that's still good taking it out of this one because this one doesn't i got this maybe like a year and a half ago from um five below this one doesn't really pour out as good as this one over here with my laundry detergent in it so i'm just gonna take it out of this one and put it in this like pumper one right here i feel like it'll be a little bit better because this one it pours out extremely extremely slow and i feel like it's time to upgrade anyway because of the you know rust and stuff Why am I still finding rose petals for Valentine's Day? Lord Jesus. Okay, so I know there's a lot of colors going on behind me, but just just get the vision. Obviously, all the green is going to be gone. Those curtains, I have white curtains. I'm probably going to put these curtains in here, and I do have more white curtains, but I'm kind of thinking of getting some sheer curtains in here so it can still be pretty bright. And these curtains are pretty heavy. Like, these are the all white but blackout on the back, and really for the living room i don't really need blackout curtains because obviously i sleep in here and i can just close the door if need be so i'm thinking of getting sheer curtains i do have some sheer curtains but they're not floor to ceiling but i may go ahead and pop those on here to see if i like it i think they'll probably stop about halfway right here so i'm going to pop those on and see if i actually you know want the sheer curtains i'm going to do all white sheer i was thinking of kind of mixing white and black but we'll see 
Um, and in here, these blackout curtains are gonna go in here because obviously I work night shift, so I be needing it to be dark in here. So the green curtains are gonna come down completely and I'm not gonna have those back out until fall and winter time. So the bed though, act like these curtains are white. Picture these in here, white comforter, white bed, that's white, that's white. This throw blanket is actually out of my living room, but it's black, so I was thinking of maybe putting it in here. So, for these two pillows that I got right here, I think these are like 20 by 20 or 24, something like that. Obviously, I'm going to take this green off because these are not the vibes anymore. But I brought these out of my living room to put in here to kind of see if I want to bring some brown neutrals in here or not. And I... I like the brown, but I don't want that specific like pillow in here. I want to keep this for the living room um, and I'm going to try to find some more brown, uh, some type of like neutral, either pillowcases. Yeah, I'm going to try to find some neutral pillowcases for these. If I can't find a good neutral, I'm just going to have white pillowcases. If you guys watched my last vlog, then you guys know what I'm going for. If you haven't, then I'll go ahead and show y'all real quick. As you can see, the comforter is white on this one. The throw blanket is black. And then they got black, white pillows with a neutral kind of a throw. So that's the color. Let me put y'all down. This is the color pillow that I'm going for. Not that deep brown, like that one that's in my living room. So I want something very, very neutral if I do something like this. And as well as they got the same thing, black hairboard, white, black, brown, you know, you know, you know. And then this one, this is a black comforter. We're not doing that anymore. This is what I was trying to really mimic. This is my favorite one. So obviously I got the black throw blanket. I got a white comforter and then the pillows. Look like she got some pillows in the back, but these pillows are all white with the white pillowcase. So I can put... I can just buy white pillowcases for my other ones but this is the vibes i'm going for this girl kind of got the same bed as me this is just her headboard is a little different anyways that's the vibes i was going for but i really like this as well but i'm like you know i'm not trying to change too much like i don't want to buy too much stuff i kind of want to just repurpose the stuff that i already got and kind of just add on to it and then this is one as well so this is basically what i'm going for but this is this is my mood board basically set my pillowcases are queen but my pillows are actually a size king so i may go and just try to find some regular white pillowcases i don't know but for right now since these are really really soft pillows i kind of just tucked it in a little bit and i always put the inside of the pillow towards the middle so you can't really see and tomorrow um y'all know i returned that stuff to amazon so i got like 40 dollars in my amazon cart well, $40 like credit to use. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy all white pillowcases for that big pillow in there that got the green pillowcase on there. Um, what else do I need? I don't know. I think that may be all for right now. I just need to get white pillowcases. And I do want a black knot pillow and then i was reading y'all comments about these pillows over here um i'm just gonna buy a pillowcase as well for these and i'm gonna try to find a pillowcase on there so hopefully i can get the stuff delivered within one day um i'm really i'm really loving how my apartment is turning out i like all the brightness y'all know my last apartment i moved from there for various reasons but i did hate how it was just everything was white cam is white like the whole house was white and it, it just drove me insane but now i am kind of missing having not the like light floors but maybe like white cabinets just because it brings more light i'm a very natural light type of girl and when i have my blinds and stuff open it just like the light just looks better when everything is white cabinet wise um but other than that like like i said i love this apartment it's cool the brown cabinets just make it feel more homey to me but for a content creator and for just me loving natural light i do like white cabinets for that reason but for it to feel homey i do like the brown cabinets so yeah whatever that's that um yeah i'm tired i need to wake up early tomorrow to go to the gym 
I don't know if I want to do leg day, like another leg day, but target different, like different uh, muscles on lower body, or if I want to do upper body. I kind of want to do upper body so I can go ahead and get in there and get out within like 45 minutes so I can get back and just focus on my brand and stuff. So yeah, I'm done. I'm gonna call the quits. Good morning. It's 11.49 in the morning. It's March, um, it's March 5th, Tuesday. <clears throat> I was supposed to get up early, did not because, hmm. I got up at eight, talked to my mom on the phone and stuff like that, but then I lay back down and y'all know that is what not to do in the morning. So I'm gonna make the sleep on and off. Um, but also because today is gonna be my brand day and Instagram and Facebook and everything was down. So with me trying to do like research and just using Instagram, obviously for my brand, I could not do that this morning. So I just stayed in bed. Um, I'm about to feed Prince right now. And then I just took him out. Do I want hygiene, all of that. I'm not gonna cook breakfast right now because it's basically lunchtime. So the food that I cooked last night at like 9, 30, 10 o'clock, I'm just gonna eat right now. Um, and I'm cooking, I got some macaroni about to boil because I ate all of it last night. My leftovers from the previous day. So yeah, about to feed him. And then I'm not gonna talk to y'all again on this vlog um, until maybe later, not later tonight, but later this evening. Um, I do want to kind of dedicate like five hours or so to do brand stuff. And I am going to start a actual like entrepreneur vlog again. I used to do this last year. My last entrepreneur vlog or studio vlog, I changed the name, was definitely last year when I stayed in my last apartment. So it's overdue for one. And I'm going to try to dedicate, you know, my time and energy to that. I may or may not start on my March content calendar as well. <sighs> Excuse me. But yeah, I'm not going to talk to y'all again until like maybe 5 o'clock tonight, 6 p.m. When we're actually about to switch my curtains out, you know, doing all the fun stuff. I just wanted to say, sleeping in my bed last night. Get into it, okay? First off, it already looks so much brighter in here. Like, I love it. Um, still trying to decide if I want to change out my comforter or not, but just overall, like, just look at the brightness. So, I did order some pillowcases for my pillows. I'm excited. Um, definitely feel like I was at a hotel. Um, I don't know if it's because the all white and now I don't have any silk or satin sheets no more. I got actual cotton sheets and my pillows are from home goods the sealy brand if i'm pronouncing it correct and the kind that i got are those really soft flushy flushy fluffy pillows that are in the hotels and i just sunk into them last night so Ooh, girl, it felt so good um the only problem is i think i told y'all my pillows are a king size and the pillowcases that i got are actually a queen so i am gonna have to go get um a pack of just white king pillows and hopefully they match my sheets um, I should have just got the king set. I don't even know if they had the king set in the one I got, but I should have just got a king set. I forgot that I got king pillows and I got a mattress topper. But anywho, it felt like I was in a hotel on vacation and I absolutely love it. I love the brightness of it and I cannot wait to finish my room, period, for the spring and the summer. So, update. It is 4 29 in the afternoon. I put this on because I was, I laid down again and, um, you know, I got white sheets, so I don't want to mess it up with my hair. So I put this little scarf on. But my freaking neon sign is here. I'm super excited. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all, but we're going to obviously be putting this up and stuff in a different vlog when I finish making over this room. This got delivered really fast. It was supposed to come in like two weeks, and it came a week early. And they shipped it off two days after I placed my order. So I think that's really fast work. Ah! All right, what do I scream? <laughs> All right, let's turn it this way. Okay, this is pretty big. It's, okay, first off, it's the fact that I was on Etsy and for like the small version, it starts at $190. And then it goes up to like two and three hundred dollars. This was like one hundred and fifty four dollars and it had a 20 percent off coupon. So girl math. OK, get it from Amazon. Always. 
this is the stuff that it came with. This is the stuff to hang it with and all of that. And I guess instructions is in here. And I didn't get any crazy font either. So I feel like that's why it was really easy for them just to make mine. I just wanted plain and simple so you can see what it says. Yeah, so this tells you how to put up everything. And this is she. Comes with the adapter. I am so excited. I did. This side is huge. Well, it's like long. Okay, everything spilled right. Looks good. Ah! <laughs> I am excited. Don't play with me. I'm official now. be able to tell me ish when it's rebrand come up this is cute for $150 I saved $200 okay how stinking cute is this oh yeah this about to eat down okay um let's do oh and that's on the high setting this is low medium and then high that's bright as hell that's gonna light up this whole room at night i cannot wait to do my room transformation like the complete transformation for my um <clears throat> beauty room office space whatever that neon sign is just so cute everybody is loving it i posted on my instagram story <clears throat> i'm gonna do a reel and stuff but everyone is loving it it looks so nice um i didn't want to do any type of crazy outrageous fonts because you know ajb beauty collection my overall logo is just regular so i absolutely love it and i wanted to show y'all how freaking bright this thing gets i'll have it linked down below this seller is really nice i'm gonna leave them like a really really good review look how bright that is this is only on the first setting and i'm gonna show y'all how bright it is Bay was like I don't even need to get my ring light out no more. <laughs> this is my new ring light. This is medium and this is high. Like, obviously, yes, I will need a ring light, but you, you get what I'm saying. This thing is so freaking bright. I won't even have to turn the light on when I put this up on the wall because I can literally see everything in here perfectly. This girl, I just, I just can't stop talking about it. It's so cute. Oh, and to think. I was about to pay, well, I wasn't about to pay it, but to think the people on Etsy, how they get you on Etsy is they'll advertise something to be, uh, I think it was like $35. No shade to, you know, the people on Etsy. Like, I'm pretty sure it's a tedious job or whatever, but it's the fact that they're advertising, they're advertising the stuff on Etsy to be $35, $40. And then when you actually get to it, they're charging by letter. It's the seller that I was looking at, it was like $35 per letter. Y'all know how many letters up in my brand name? Come on now, collection alone. <laughs> like, it was too much. So the cheapest and smallest one, like I said, was 190 and that was just no. So I'm glad I got that for like one, it was like 130, 140 with tax and stuff like that, 150. I'm about to take down these curtains and then eat a little bit again. Um, I didn't really have a brand day today, not gonna lie, I think, all of this stuff is catching up to me and me knowing that i gotta go to work and stay up all night is catching up to me um didn't go to the gym today i'm still probably gonna do a little 20 minute workout on my peloton but i did a little bit of stuff i almost filed my taxes today um i filed them i just didn't submit them so like i typed everything in um as well as for the brand i've just been on instagram just doing like research that way i haven't really did anything else that was on my list um for that vlog but yeah i just kind of been chilling because i'm so tired and i've been going to the gym consistently since last week and it's definitely catching up with me so tomorrow i'm gonna try to get up early and go to the gym tomorrow's my last off day before i go back and then i work two days off two days work two days and then i'm off 15 days so yeah we're gonna go ahead and take these down um it was hell getting these up and i know it's gonna be hell probably getting these back down and putting them back up so i'm gonna move y'all back here and I'm gonna get my handy dandy bar stool over here. Come on, get up off 
but yeah. I did have to rig that one up a little bit um because the nail i couldn't get all the way up in there on that one and then i do got two thumbtacks over there so we're not even gonna mess with that one okay but these are still folded the correct way which is good all right let's do this um i'm just gonna go in the middle and This is just chaotic. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're still recording. Then nothing didn't happen. So obviously those are not in a pillowcase. So if they were to be all white, this is how it would look. But like I said, I got black simply because since I got this throw blanket and the bed and stuff is black, um, I just wanted the throw pillows to be black. But since I am trying to do multiple pillows, I can do, you know, a mixture of black and white. I'll probably pop up two more photos that I just found today on Pinterest um, to kind of show what I'm slightly going for. I do, I no lie, I kind of like the white pillows like that. But <laughs> the black uh, pillowcases, <clears throat> they're gonna get delivered tomorrow. So we're gonna pop those on and we're gonna see how we like them. So just imagine actual pillowcases on that, but you get the gist of it, it's white, white on white. So comment below if you like the white better or tomorrow when I put on the black ones, comment and tell me if you like the black better, we'll see. One of the other reasons I wanted to change my bedding as well to go back white, especially for the spring and summertime, is because whenever I would try to do videos on camera, the whole room would be so freaking dark that you can't even see anything. Like since everything is black, it all just kind of mushes in together. And I absolutely hated that. Like I wanted to show off my room, like the back, the black wallpaper would just look horrible up in this, but now that you know i got some white going on it looks a little bit better or whatever and i also don't know if i want my throw blanket to go on the corner of the bed or if i want it to go like this <laughs> all right or do y'all like it like this i feel like y'all gonna say like this it do look a little bit more neat this way i am kind of feeling it this way so i think i'm just gonna have to <laughs> suck it up and not just throw the blanket on there real lazy and make it up like this because I do kind of like that. Oh, good morning. Uh, well, good afternoon. It's 12:22, Wednesday, March 6th. And as you can see, I got me another Amazon box. <laughs> this is the pillowcases that I ordered and then another little random thing. So we're gonna unbox these and see how it looks in my bedroom. Hopefully it looks good. Hopefully I won't have to buy any more pillowcases after this all right pillowcases and then the other random thing that i got is right here so first off the random little thing that i got i was on amazon obviously and i came across these i don't know how but i came across them i got these little bitty usb usc USB-C plug-ins, the USB, I don't even know how to word it. But basically you guys know I have the new iPhone 15 Pro Max and it does not have this same plug-in for the charger and stuff. So when I'm in the car, my phone is dead. It's gonna stay dead. Like I cannot charge my phone at all in my car because I don't have an actual like plug-in socket. My boyfriend has a plug-in socket in his truck, so he's lucky. And he also has the USB-C plug-in along with USB. So. 
he lit <laughs> but mine i literally just have the usb plug-in so i'm gonna try this out with my phone i'm gonna plug it in and just like that it plugs in so now i can plug this into my car for a car play and just regular like charging and bluetooth and stuff like that i normally don't use carplay because i just like the system that comes into my kia but yeah it works let me see put it to the test okay perfect all right so i just tested it over there it works i'm gonna um hook this up into my car this little piece it came with a pack of two so I don't know if I'm going to just keep both in my car just in case so I can know where they're at or if I want to keep one up here. Um, I may go ahead and keep one up here so I can plug it into my laptop. So one is going to go in the car and the other one is going to go um, in my electronics bag and stuff. So yeah, got those. Um, just random, but I absolutely needed those because there's been no way I could charge my phone in my car. All right. Well, actually, I lied. My car comes with like five different ways to charge your phone. There is right there on the arm handle you can slip like i will have to take my case off but i can slide my phone down and it'll just charge from the back side of the phone but when i be trying to be on my phone girl i don't i don't be needing that so if if all fails i there is a way for me to charge my phone but i don't want to charge it that way and they put this in a tight thing okay so i think i told y'all that i got black pillowcase covers Hmm. Hmm. real cute real cute um, I was going to do white, but like I said, I didn't want it to be too much white. And these look really nice. So here's my black throw blanket. I think it matches pretty okay. This one looks a little bit more vibrant, but that's fine. And then if I turn it this way. So this one is kind of like a two for one. If I want just a plain black pillowcase design, then I can turn it this way. And then this side, it kind of mimics what's in my living room right now, just straight up and down vertical lines, but it gives a little bit of texture to it. So I'm gonna pop these on and see how they look because I've already made my bed for today. Also, if you watched my last vlog, um, Living Alone Weekly Vlog from last week, a lot of people was asking about my little all-in-one like frying pan grill thingy. And y'all are asking where it's from. Clearly y'all didn't see the vlog when I did a whole Amazon haul and showed y'all what I got from my kitchen. So y'all need to go watch that. But in all seriousness, um, if you ever like something in my apartment or wanna know where something from, nine times out of 10, I've been telling y'all uh, the people that's been commenting I've been saying 90% of my stuff in this apartment is from Amazon so I always check my Amazon storefront it will be always linked in my um, description bios all of that kind of stuff everything that I buy on Amazon I do put into my storefront in one of my categories whether it be bedroom kitchen you know what have you so all right these fit they're a little big though I the last pillows that I ordered, the pillowcases for those green ones, they were a 26 by 26. And I believe I just ordered 26 by 26 for these. Okay, so what we thinking, what we thinking. I like it. I'm, I'm probably going to have to show y'all when it gets dark outside because this is just bringing in too much light. But from this side, you guys can see a little bit better because I'm not against the light. I like it. I do need to add another, I want another like not pillow to add in front of those. Um, I don't think I'm going to do three big pillows because I mean, I only have a queen size. I don't know how they say it on that pictures on Pinterest to put three big pillows up there. So I'm going to do two pillows and then I'm either going to do like a little small not pillow or something else. I don't know. <laughs> I forgot I actually had a freaking not pillow that I got from Home Goods. So tell me how y'all like this. I think if I could find like maybe a smaller not pillow, I don't know. I think that's like really, really <laughs> huge looking at it like this. But I think I want to do a white not pillow simply because I don't want the black on black. Like I kind of want it to be black, white, black, white. You get what I'm saying? So I'm thinking I'm liking the white one. I just may want maybe a smaller knot pillow, but then I don't want it too small because then, you know, these pillows are really huge right here. So I don't know, but I know I think I want to do white. So 
so as I'm sitting here, um, I'm making my little, this is my content calendar. So I made one for January, February. Now I'm doing March. You guys saw me doing, um, I like to start off with writing the days that I actually work at my hospital job. Then I go in every Sunday. Y'all know it's going to be a weekly vlog. So I'm kind of putting that down, but I'm also going to try to be jotting down things to really do in those weekly vlogs. Cause it's like, I don't want them to be repetitive. Y'all know I'm a homebody. I really don't be doing much of nothing anyways. So a weekly vlog for me, I have to really still kind of sit down and think about it because if not, it would definitely get repetitive and I just don't want that. So that's what I'm doing. And then my Thursdays, I am trying to get back into posting Thursdays as well. Um, it was a lot easier to post Sundays and Thursdays when I wasn't weekly vlogging because, you know, I would just record, you know, a day or two and then just post that. So Thursdays, um, tomorrow, today I actually want to record a apartment must-haves video type thing like from amazon or something um i still get a lot of people talk about you know moving to apartment i motivate them to do this 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 and this um like apartment wise and y'all know baby i've been moving since 2016 so i got a lot of must-haves and things to do so i'm thinking about doing an updated one of those videos and post that for thursday tomorrow and then uh the next thursday it's three more Thursdays in the month and I got videos for each Thursday that I plan to do. So hopefully I can stick to that. After I get done with YouTube, then I will go in and try to figure out TikTok and Instagram. I know for sure Instagram, all the stuff that I'm posting on TikTok, I'm not going to post on Instagram yet. Next month is going to be my 30 days of content. I'm going to post every single day on Instagram for 30 days. At least try to um, a reel. So I am trying to accumulate 30 reels. Um, to post for Instagram how many yeah it's 30 days next month so I'm gonna post 30 and I'm but I'm gonna figure out all of that on my 15 days off like starting next week but yeah I'm gonna do that um TikTok I do need to plan a few videos for that I think I want to post like one video a week like not too much because well no I guess this month I'm gonna try to focus on TikTok and then next month, I'm going to focus more so on Instagram. So I guess I am going to try to figure out two videos to post for the rest of this month. So I'm going to post like two videos a week. That'll be two, four, six, eight. That'll be eight videos for this month. So yeah, I could do that. But I got out here to say, I'm trying to catch up on all of my um, favorite YouTubers. It's about, I got about 10 favorites. I do have obviously like a top five or top three that I really love. And y'all know. The number one person that I really, really still love is Raven Elise. That's just my girl. I've been loving her videos since literally what I was in high school. So Raven Elise, I do need to finish her video. I switch out my glasses because the other ones wasn't giving with my outfit. But anyways, I'm trying to sit here and kind of catch up on my favorite YouTubers while actually still being productive here in bed. Um, sometimes I like to just sit in bed and watch TV. Um, I get a lot of light in here. And I mean, my bed's comfortable with my pillows and stuff. So I have this. My cousin Dinah literally got me this when I was in high school. It's literally like a laptop thing. I use it to eat with, work on, all of that. So I used to be really love well i still love pears i want to go there so bad but my whole room used to be pears <laughs> growing up and she got me this so yeah anyways i'm watching i'm watching um why did i just forget her name kaya i believe that's how you say her name don't hold me to that but <laughs> anyways i um i'm catching up on everybody so I'm watching her vlog. I just watched her Sunday reset one. So now I'm watching this one. And then just to kind of give y'all a little bit of who I watch. Obviously, they're going to meet. They're going to meet, period. Um, I love Kyra. And then, so Kyra and then Kaya, I believe. I always get them mixed up. Um, who else? McKenna Walker. Aaliyah's face. I haven't honestly been watching her vlogs as much. Like, I watch a few here and there. I am Chelsea Janae. That's my girl. I need to catch up on her. I'm like five vlogs behind. Um, Taja, I do love her vlogs as well. Um, her channel is kind of one that I kind of just go on here and there. But I mean, I still love her content. So I do need to catch up on her a lot. Um, Taja, I found her last year, I believe. So I kind of been trying to go back and backtrack or whatever. And, you know, McKenna Walker, Raven Elise. Um, I love my girl Kyla Shay. Sophieology, I haven't watched her in a minute, but I need to I need to catch up with her. Um, Angui, I haven't watched her stuff in a minute. So yeah, it's it's just those are my 
little tops right now. Okay, I accidentally clicked out, but I was trying to show y'all. These are like the top people that I've been watching. Um, we're gonna start McKenna Walker, Kaya, I am Chelsea Janae, Raven Elise, All of Destiny, Shay. Um, and these are people that I'm just subscribed to. Um, I need to catch up on Angui. Um, Arnell, I need to catch up on her. I need to catch up on, I think her name is Alexis. I just found her like a few months ago. So yeah, Brooke Kennedy, I need to catch up on hers. Um, sometimes when I'm trying to go to sleep and just need something to watch that's funny, I like watching Brad about hair. You know, I love all things hair. Era, I honestly have not been watching her stuff as you guys can see. Like, <laughs> I don't know what it is. And I, I really hate, to, like y'all, I have not been watching nothing. But here's the thing, I really, really hate to say this. Oh, and Fatima, it's just so many. Oh. I hate to say this, but I honestly liked I still like the era content, but like I just don't really keep up with her as much as I did. Um, I know all things happen for a reason and stuff, but I actually liked the era better with Ken. <laughs> like, I don't know, like video wise, like it was always something, I don't know, just something really funny. You know, something was exciting coming, which not to say that her content now isn't exciting. It's just I like her content when she talks about business stuff, like about Laura Bay, since I have my own business and all of that. But her regular vlogs and all of that, I don't know. I don't really care to just keep up with her like I used to. I don't know what it is. Like, I still love her, you know, style. She can dress her ass off, all of that. Like, I still is, I'm obsessed with her Instagram and all of that. It's just, I don't know, her vlogs, it's just, I don't know. It's just something different that I just can't just keep up with her i'll watch her when i i don't have anything else to watch but obviously i th these videos are from like 11 months ago last year and i ain't even caught up on her with but yeah anyways i just want to say that i came on here to say i'm watching um kyra i'm watching kaya and uh, i was watching her sunday reset and when she was doing like her bible studies and stuff like that um i'm glad i came across that video because she was doing a bible study from this girl heart dive with i don't even know how to really pronounce her name but this is it so every single day she posts um a bible study and like basically going through the whole bible i believe and y'all know i talked about this in one of my other vlogs i have a photo called lord on my phone and my boyfriend gifted me a bible last year or the my boyfriend gifted me a bible the year before last and it comes with a bible app this is the bible and i like it because you know got the red writing in there and it's it's just pretty straightforward it's the niv version i believe so i literally started on the app started in the old testament and i started literally from page one the book of genesis and y'all see i got some highlights going on in there um i started this at the beginning of the year but not gonna lie i have not been doing my bible study i've been tuning in at church like on uh live but i have not really just been reading my bible so i got this app right here that goes to it but this lady that she was talking about on youtube basically it's podcast form but she's still like i don't know she's on the um screen like you can see the bible and all of that and on my app although it's a good app it reads to you so it breaks down how many um you know pages and stuff that you need to read a day to be able to read the whole bible in a year you can you know you can do a whole bunch of stuff with this so literally it says i'm on zero percent because i started in the book of genesis and then just never finished it but i also like to combine that with the bible project the bible project really broke down a lot of stuff as well so i'm going to try out this girl that she was talking about the heart dive girl um because this is an hour long for this bible study so they're about Okay, so at the beginning of the year, it was an hour. Then it went down to 42 minutes, 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. So yeah, they're kind of a little bit shorter now. So I'm going to start the first one today, even though I already went through the first few pages of the book of Genesis. So this is Genesis 1 through 3. So I think I've been through that one. But I mean, it's okay. I can, you know, reread it over. That's fine to refresh my memory. So yeah. I'm going to look into that later today. I'm going to start like a little Bible study. She obviously started two months ago at the new year. So I'm glad I'm finding this out in March. So I don't have too much to catch up on. But I am excited to do this. So yeah, this is the Bible that he got me that comes with the app. This is the Bible that I've had since like college. And this is the one that I have my little tabs and stuff on there. I got it from Amazon. The Bible and the tabs are from Amazon. Um... So yeah, I mean, both basically are the same. 
it's just one came with app and one didn't so i'm super excited to get into this and then i got my little prayer journal and stuff over there so i just wanted to pop on and say i'm glad i you know decided to watch this video and found out that she be watching that bible study because i'm definitely gonna tune in so thanks girl if you're watching this <laughs> and yeah it's 222 222 um i'm about to finish right now my calendar um i only got like one more video to watch of hers they're only 24 minutes so i'll get done with this pretty quickly and then i'm probably going to start watching chelsea janae once i'm done with this i'm going to start folding another set of laundry so i don't get backed up again like last week and then after that um i'll probably take prints out walk around a little bit get some vitamin d outside and then i'm probably going to clean up my apartment because i do have to work tomorrow i work thursday and friday and then I'm off Saturday, Sunday. So I'm going to get my apartment clean, get ready, get back in that work mode. And I probably won't talk to y'all for the next two days. And I'll probably pop back in on Saturday after today, though. So, yeah, just a little update. I know I'm talking for a lot, but I just want to say that. And, you know, it's funny because I got the goddess dope on. And then I see, you know, the Bible study. I don't know. It's just it just almost made me want to cry because I really want to um, get into the word well really understand the word if that makes sense like i can read the bible and stuff you know all day but it's like if i'm not understanding the context of it what is it really doing so i think with this lady on here i think it'll be really nice because i feel like she explains things just from the little snippets that i've seen from when she posted and then me up on here so i'm excited nevertheless this the Bible app that I got, it does give you information, but I don't know. I'm more of a visual learner and stuff. So like me actually just seeing her talk and, you know, it's kind of like she's talking directly to me, if that makes sense. So that's also why I use the Bible project, because it just simplifies it and really makes me understand as well as it show like little bitty videos and clips and stuff. Like I said, I'm a visual learner. So it's like that makes me remember the word a lot more than just reading a text you know just reading a passage in a book like i need the context of it so yeah i just want to say that um it literally almost like it's about to make me cry right now because i'm super excited to really watch this video tonight and get into it because uh god is just so good y'all so just want to say that and i'm about to finish my stuff now so got back to the house about 30 minutes ago or so um I went and sold one of my curly wigs, not my brand, but like that a company had sent me. Sold that. <clears throat> and then I went to the beauty supply store because I meet the girl always. I usually always sell my wigs to like the same two people. So I met her at our usual spot. And then I went to the beauty supply store that's right there and picked up some stuff that I needed. Um, how about, I think I told y'all I had no more gel for my natural hair. So after i do this video tonight i'll probably keep this little throw on and go wig on and do my makeup and stuff um but tomorrow i kind of want to wash my hair and just put it back in a slick back ponytail so needed some more gel i like the aunt jackie's um whatever one this is it's a lot of stuff to read so this is the one i like the one with the orange uh tab on there and then i also got um some neutralizing shampoo because I want to use this for my raw hair and stuff like that to wash it when I get it. Um, it said it's supposed to be here tomorrow. So obviously to test if it's, you know, truly raw hair, you can use a neutralizing shampoo. And if the suds are white, then that's how you know that it's actually raw hair. If they're anything other than white, like brown, what have you, then you know that's not actual raw hair. So got that. Picked up another lip gloss because I needed some more, um, I needed one for when I go to work. I'm about to try it out real quick. Okay. With vitamin E oil coconut. I like, girl. Hold up. Got my hair in that candle. <laughs> and then I just picked up some more body pins, 300 pack. Um, I still have probably about 100 left in my other one, 50 to 100, but I know I'm gonna need some more soon and they usually always, you know, disappear somehow, so. Just picked up a few things and it was only like 15 16 dollars for one two three four little items so right now i'm about to cook me some pasta um not like no chicken alfredo or anything like that i wanted to do like a creamy tomato type of pasta let me see what she called it i know how i want to cook it but i kind of wanted to cook it a little bit differently so 
It is easy creamy tomato pasta ready in 10 minutes. A lot of people cook their own variation. This one looks like something that I would really like to eat. So I'm gonna cook it this way because I didn't wanna cook just actual spaghetti. I'm so tired of just cooking regular spaghetti. Few of y'all was asking me in my last video, where did I get this from? Um, in my first Living Alone weekly vlog, I think I bought this or definitely talked about it. So if you go back to video number one, this is from Home Goods. It's the brand Core Kitchen. Um, they got a lot of stuff. Somebody else had asked <laughs> when you put it in this, how do you get it out? It has four different holes at the top. So since I'm about to use the panini pasta, you just open the hole and you literally just pour it out and close it and it's four separate holes and then you just take the whole top off to refill it but i got this to free up some space in my pantry because it's just me eating so literally this is all i need and i know i got white sheets and stuff now but we're gonna do a taste test i got it on my little tray or whatever so i'm gonna put it down right here and we're gonna see how this little tiktok recipe tastes it smells really good though it smells amazing if i do say so myself mm. hot it's good Hey y'all, so I want to get on here and I'm not gonna show my face or nothing cause I look a mess, but it's 11.50, it's 11.35 in the morning. I'm gonna go ahead and hop on my Peloton <laughs> and do a 20 to 30 minute home workout because it is raining and I don't feel like going to the gym today. I do gotta go to work today. So I'm gonna get me a good workout in right here. And I do got the weights and stuff. Um, I talked about this in my <clears throat> little room transformation so if you want more information about this and you can go check that out but i also got free fitness plus app for three months for getting a new phone and i had saved like nine videos that i would like to do so i saved a lot of cycling videos obviously <clears throat> because i got this um new bike and you can go in there so i got nine workouts the total is like three hours and ten minutes but there's i got some saved for core um, a hit workout yoga strength training and then i got two cycling and then another strength so i think i want to do this mary j blige one it is 30 minutes i don't know if i'm gonna be able to go for 30 minutes on this thing but the girl seems really really cool and i think i'll actually like it if i don't do that one let me show you the mary j blige one hopefully i'll get copyrighted for this <laughs> work it out the pain the drama whatever you gotta sweat out preview Hard of how it's going to be. So get ready to feel all the feels and feel empowered at the same time. Let's go. You're going to be Usher one. Oh my gosh, it's 30 minutes too. But it's this, I think it's this black guy. We came no, it's her still. To work, to feel the music, right? I don't have an HDMI cord, so I can't plug it up to the thingy, I don't think. For cycling. What's up, superstar? And then it can show the Plus Studio with my dream teammates in LA. Oh, they got my song already going. Okay. So I'm super excited to show y'all why did I check the Sam's Club app? And y'all. Come on. Ah! They restocked the chicken. 
see me some apart. <laughs> so I got one for nine dollars and eighty four cents, and the other one is ten ninety four. I never really pay over ten or maybe eleven dollars, but girl, there's five in here. Y'all know I love this now. So it's three fifteen. I do gotta work today, so I'm about to go ahead and um, cook me one to eat right now, and then I'm gonna um, cook two more and then meal prep it for tomorrow and then Saturday. Cause I do work tomorrow as well and I'm not gonna be up, you know, doing anything. So, oh my gosh, y'all, I am so excited. This is the best chicken ever. And I really was pissed that it was gone because what processed on March 6th, so it was yesterday and best of use by the 10th. So I'm gonna freeze the other one of these. I usually like to buy one each week so it can stay fresh, but baby, after them being sold out, I would've hit about two. Especially because I'm about to already eat one right now, so I'm gonna um I'm gonna keep this down until the tenth, and then I'm gonna see you know when I need to freeze it and stuff like that, because I do want it to be extra fresh. Oh, and I wash my hair, shampoo, condition, all of that good stuff, leave-in conditioner, put it in my little low puff ball. I'm gonna wear one of these in a minute, but girl, I'm so excited! Like y'all don't know how bad I've been craving this, like really bad. I've been checking the Sam's Club app probably every single day. Um, and the reason why I really want it is because it's five servings per container, obviously. One piece of chicken is 210 calories, and then it's 32 grams of protein for one little bit of chicken breast. Like, and y'all know I'm trying to hit my protein intake. So with my protein smoothie, this chicken, the macaroni potatoes, I'm going to cook some homemade greens next week. That's going to be in next week's vlog. Um, I'm going to cook it for the first time, some collard greens. And I'm super excited. So I'm gonna have greens and ugh, it's just gonna be so good. And I'm really gonna get my protein and my calories in. So I just wanted to come in here and tell y'all that um, your girl's excited. I'm super duper happy that they got my chicken back in stock. I don't need y'all going and buying it up anymore if that's what happened. <laughs> so respectfully, don't buy this chicken. <laughs> but yeah, um, today's the last I'm probably gonna pop in on here. I'll probably pop in Saturday to close the vlog out, let y'all know what I'm doing. But tomorrow, I'm gonna sleep all day and wake up and go back to work and just let that be that. So, TTYL until Saturday, girl.